Pediatrics was my first choice uh, and I landed up in uh, glaucoma uh, out of a need. So earlier place where I was working, there were no glaucoma specialists and, and I used to take care of glaucoma patients as well. And then I realized that uh, there were just too many of them and sometimes I would be able to take a decision, sometimes it was I needed help and, and then I realized that I need to train myself to be able to take care of these patients much better and that is how I, I chose to do some training in glaucoma and I had a young uh, baby at that time and it was not easy for me to take a break uh, so I decided the shortest possible training that I could do I should do and get back and that's how I landed up in LB Prasad to do my uh, short term fellowship and the maximum time that I spent here I trained under Dr. GC and all of you know about Dr. GC and how inspiring he is and, uh, and sometimes he also pushes you to do your best and to bring out the best in you and I guess that really helped me a lot and and that is all I did and I went back and I started practicing. Uh, in fact sometimes I tell my fellows that uh, the first surgery I only observed surgeries nobody held my hand and helped me uh, to operate uh, but I used to be so keenly observing or helping or assisting because I knew this is the only opportunity I have to learn and I have to go back to give the best to my patients. So when I went back to the place where I was practicing and the first surgery that I did was on my husband's boss's mother and that was the most difficult time or a really a tensed moment because he somehow believed that I could do the best and they just didn't want to go anywhere else. I said no please I will refer you to another surgeon who is obviously much more experienced than I am but uh, for some reason this elderly lady was had so much trust in me that I had to do my best and fortunately for her and fortunately for me, it went off very well and that is how my career in glaucoma started. And then glamorous, uh, I'm not sure whether glaucoma is glamorous, but yes, I would say that for any anterior segment surgeon uh, who is good at doing cataracts and taking care of anterior segment problems for uh, most patients, I think glaucoma is a field that you can't escape. So to me, yes, if you are an anterior segment surgeon or a cataract surgeon and then if you're good in glaucoma, I guess it adds uh, another flag to your, uh, uh, to your uh, capabilities. So one may ask this question that what is there in glaucoma? Everybody with a high pressure needs to be treated with medications and that's it. But then you need to understand that everybody with high pressures don't respond the same way. The reason is because they have several uh, uh, reasons why the pressure goes up. So unless you pick up these tiny little points and then understand what exactly happens in these patients, you will not be able to do a good job. That's number one. Number two is the happiness that you have when you actually tell somebody that do, they do not have this blinding disease, especially when somebody is been on treatment for uh, when they don't have a problem. One group of patients to me where to tell them that they don't have a disease is a very very uh, interesting and a, a humbling experience. Uh, the other thing is several of our patients, in fact several of the elderly patients who come to see me, come to see me once every three or four months just to listen to that one sentence that I tell them that you will not go blind in your lifetime. So to give that reassurance to these elderly patients because the only fear that they have is that they don't want to be burdened to their children and they want to be independent until the time they are alive. Knowing that it is a blinding disease, knowing that progressively they will lose their vision is a big fear and that fear can kill somebody uh, rather than them losing their vision itself. So to reassure them to, take, to hold their hands and tell them that we are together in this journey, we will take care of you, you just don't worry about it, gives them so much of happiness that it will take them through for another few months until they come back to see you. So they are all, in fact it's like a large huge family that uh, you are together with them in their journey. Several of them actually know my child as a very uh, young boy and they've seen them, they keep asking how's your son and when I tell them that he's joined medical college they are surprised because Obviously time has flown and they've been with you for so long. Glittering career in glaucoma, it's an interesting question. I think it's the pedestal that one gets when you're in the right place like LV Prasada Institute. It makes a huge difference. 
and any speciality for that matter you can make it interesting you can make uh, you can make it work for you if you put in 110% of your uh, effort into it so any field requires a lot of hard work for you to be um, approached for you to be known for you to reach and do what you want to do so i think there's no substitute to hard work and the rest of the things will just follow every challenge that you face i think you need to take that as an opportunity and several times it's these opportunities that are not something that you really foresee that uh, propels you to a higher level when i moved in here there was nobody who was doing implant surgeries but we had so many difficult glaucomas that we didn't know uh, where else to send them and you know being an apex institute you can't really uh, refer them anywhere else so you you have to manage them and you better manage them and that is how i got into doing uh, more complex surgeries to begin with and in fact implant surgeries were uh, something that i really pushed myself into doing and uh, so it all started way back in 2007 uh, when there was none doing implant surgeries and today i can proudly say that every single fellow who passes out from here uh, does a fantastic job and uh, we have held implant workshops uh, for many many years now and trained several people across the country as well so i guess uh, it was a need at that time and it was a huge challenge uh, there were times when i used to think i really don't know what to do and you also feel like running away from a problem but i guess you need to face it head on and i'm sure if you are willing to do it along the line there are several people who come to help you and i guess uh, that takes you to where you should reach so many times the uh, when the young uh, ophthalmologists pass out they also ask this question uh, what is the opportunity that you will have when you do a glaucoma fellowship and go out i can tell you an incident a friend of mine who was trained in retina uh, also she used to spend significant amount of time with me and she picked up a lot of glaucoma and she was managing glaucoma very well when she moved from hyderabad to mumbai for some other reasons Uh, when she approached a specialist to join uh, for a work uh, when she joined in fact she had more glaucoma work rather than retina work so i'm just trying to tell you this retina is very glamorous but despite that she was looked up to and people would uh, refer people would refer a lot of cases to her for glaucoma rather than retina because so your skill is something that people will notice over a period of time so it is very useful you could do take care of cornea patients you can take care of patients with uh, complex uh, retinal problems so glaucoma is actually a field which is kind of linked with most specialities that you do and i guess that way there is uh, no dearth for opportunity if you wish to take it So once you do your ophthalmology and you come out like what happened to me I would say that uh, everybody thinks especially depends on the place that you trained I trained in Arvind Dai Hospital Madurai and when I finished my post graduation uh, uh, I I thought that I never needed a fellowship in fact when they offered me one I said uh, I don't think I need it I'm good I'll be able to manage but then i realized 2 years down the line when i started practicing that i needed to train in something that that takes me and uh, helps me to uh, choose a certain path or be a specialist in a certain field so i think it's very important in today's day and time with the opportunity that you have and the advantage of uh, fellowship being available in several places it's it's good to do a fellowship choose the one that you want to be so i think you take time go around speak to people or go and do a small uh, observership uh, and see what actually excites you whatever excites you i think that moment nobody needs to tell you you know it for yourself that this is the field that you want to choose